Hi, my name is Doug and I'm the founder of the sustainable building design consultancy, Mesh Energy. In 2020, we developed the Embodied Carbon Calculator, a valuable online tool that enables deeper insight into how your choice of materials affects the embodied carbon of your building design. It also allows you to compare your data against the REBA 2030 and LETI carbon alignment targets. As we roll out our version 6 update, which allows more flexibility, customization and accuracy, I'd like to talk you through the tool and give you an idea of exactly just how it works. So I'm gonna quickly run you through some of the key features of the Embodied Carbon Calculator tool, and then gesture towards some of the features in the actual software. So the new key features for the version six release of the Embodied Carbon Calculator are input areas, thicknesses, and volumes, input key building services data, search function for all materials, choice between metric and imperial units, updated material data, more bespoke material input fields, input fields for volumetric material quantities, and updated building services choices. So in the calculator itself, you can put in all of your individual uh, project data, what phase you're in, what type of building it is, what you're targeting as far as embodied carbon, the year of the project, uh, who it's been assessed by, and you can obviously pick between the different units if you're working in imperial or metric units. You have the structure broken down into roof, walls, floors, uh, external and internal elements. You can very, very quickly input individual materials into the structure and using the search function you can say whether it's retained or new and very very quickly put in the thickness of that material and it gives you an immediate indication of the makeup of that structure we also have at all times the structure broken down into all of the various different elements here and you can proportionally see what's happening as we scroll down, you can see the various different um, wall and roof elements that you can put in, doors and windows, floors. Uh, right at the bottom here, we have building services. You can put in whether there is uh, solar PV installed, for example. Uh, you can put in the heating system. You can put in whether there's hot water, whether there's air conditioning, whether there's radiators, or underfloor heating or nothing at all and whether there is a ventilation system or not we also have a full materials database here uh, a lot of a lot of pre-populated work as well as individually you can put in your own material up to 30 of your own materials here with the individual values as you find them off the epds and we also display very very quickly and easily and dare i say beautifully how the building's doing for upfront carbon and embodied carbon. And this is based off the Leti and Reba alignment targets. You can also report the entire um, project broken down into various elements of the structure and the RICS life cycle stages in their own individual cells. And again, you have a summary of how the project is doing for upfront and embodied carbon as well as any sequestered carbon in there as well. So if you're looking for more clarity on the carbon impact of building design, or have a project that would benefit from the powerful insights of the embodied carbon calculator, head over to meshenergy.com and download the latest version.